Good day, learners! It's another day for you to learn. For today's lesson, you will be able to multiply fraction by a fraction, simplify fractions by cancellation before multiplying, multiply fractions and mixed numbers, multiply mixed number by another mixed number, and multiply mixed number by a whole number. For this operation, I am sure that you will find this much easier than addition and subtraction. You know why? Because there's no such complicated steps here than you did on the first two operations. Now, let us move to examples. Let us recall first how to change mixed number into an improper fraction. Example, 4 and 1 half. To do that, you have to multiply the denominator to our whole number. 2 times 4 is 8. And then the product you will add to our numerator. 8 plus 1 is 9. And then copy our denominator, which is 2. The improper fraction now is 9 over 2. I know, learners, you are excited in multiplying fraction. Now, let us do this first example, which is multiply fraction by a fraction. Example, 1 fourth times 3 eighths. To do that, remember this technique, n by n, d by d, which means numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Now, let us solve this example. 1 times 3 is 3. 4 times 8 is 32. Now, observe first our answer, which is 3 over 32. Is there any common factor between our numerator and denominator? That's right. There's no common factors between our numerator and denominator. Therefore, the final answer is 3 over 32. Now, let us move to our second example. Example number 2. 1 half times 6 8. For this example, I will show you the two ways or two methods to solve this. The first method is the one that we did on our first example. Second is by cancellation before multiplying. Let us do first the first method. Again, n times n, d times d. 1 times 6 is 6. 2 times 8 is 16. Now, we've got 6 over 16. Learners, is this the final answer? You're correct. This is not yet the final answer because our numerator and denominator have common factor. Now, what is the greatest common factor of 6 and 16? That's right, 2. Now, let us divide 6 and 16 by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 16 divided by 2 is 8. The final answer is 3 over 8. Now let us do the second method. Let us do the second method, which is cancellation before multiplying. Learners, I want you to know that canceling a fraction is also called simplifying fractions. Basically, 
A fraction can be made simpler by dividing the numerator and denominator to its common factor. You can either use the GCF to simplify the fraction or start simplifying using prime numbers. Now, let us do this in our example number 2. As you can see, 6 and 2 has common factor, which is 2. Now, we will divide 6 by 2 and 2 by 2. 6 divided by 2, it will give us 3. 2 divided by 2, it will give us 1. Now, let us multiply. 1 times 3 is equal to 3. 1 times 8 is equal to 8. As you can see, our answer is the same to so our answer in method 1. Let us do the example number 3, which is multiply fractions by mixed numbers. If there's a given mixed number, it must be converted first into an improper fraction. We will multiply the denominator to our whole number, then add into our numerator. 2 times 7 is equal to 14. 14 plus 1 is equal to 15. Our fraction now are 3 over 5 times 15 over 2. We will do the cancellation since 15 and 5 has common factor. 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. Now let us multiply. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Our answer is an improper fraction, so we will convert it into mixed number. How many 2's are there in 9? That's right, 4. How many were left? 1. So the final answer is 4 and 1 half. Example number 4. Multiply mixed number by a mixed number. Our given are 2 and 4 over 7 times 5 and 1 fourth. Again, when multiplying, always convert mixed numbers into an improper fraction. 7 times 2 is equal to 14. 14 plus 4 is equal to 18. 4 times 5 is equal to 20 plus 1 is equal to 21. Our fractions now are 18 over 7 and 21 over 4. As you can see, 21 and 7 has common factor. 18 and 4 has common factor also. We will divide 21 by 7 and 7 by 7. 18 by 2 and 4 by 2. 21 divided by 7 is equal to 3. 7 divided by 7 is equal to 1. 18 divided by 2 is equal to 9. And 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. Now let us multiply. 9 times 3 is equal to 27. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Our answer is an improper fraction, so we will convert it into mixed numbers. How many 2's are there in 27? 13. How many were left? 1. So the final answer is 13 and 1 half. Down to our last example, which is multiplying mixed number by a whole number. Given 3 and 2 fifth times 5. Again, when multiplying, always convert mixed numbers into an improper fraction. 
And since there is a whole number, the denominator of a whole number is always 1. 5 times 3 plus 2 is equal to 17. The denominator of a whole number, again, is 1. We will use cancellation again since 5 and 5 is divisible by each other. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. Let us multiply. 17 times 1 is equal to 17. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Learners, you can write it as 17 since 17 over 1 is also equal to 17. That's all for today, learners. If you have any comments, you can type it in our comment box below. And I will put the link of reducing fraction in my description box. Always remember, Paul Helmos once said, to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. That's all. Goodbye and thank you.